Tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. President Trump calls it a victory. Others call it immoral. The Supreme Court has upheld his travel ban. First at five tonight, News 8's George Colley live with reaction to the court's 5-4 decision and what it means for some families here in Connecticut. George. Well, good evening. The Supreme Court decision upholds the third version of a travel ban implemented by the Trump administration. It impacts travelers from five Muslim-majority countries, Iran, Libya, Somalia, Syria, and Yemen, as well as travelers from North Korea and some Venezuelan government officials and their families. Allah, like that. Fad Saeed is an American-born father of three. Of Yemeni descent, he's paid close attention to the travel bans proposed by President Trump and is upset by this Supreme Court decision. My initial reaction is sadness. Uh, I feel our, the Muslim community is being uh, under attack, being discriminated blatantly. Saeed says the travel ban is impacting his family. He says he has an uncle that's an American citizen that's stuck in Yemen because his wife is not allowed to enter the United States. For this to happen where my uncle cannot, loves his wife, who has been legally given, granted her visa, cannot come to this country because she's a Yemeni, American, a Yemeni Muslim, this is absolutely crazy. The 5-4 Supreme Court decision rejects claims that the Trump travel ban was a presidential overreach or discriminates against Muslims. Chief Justice John Roberts wrote that the president has substantial power to regulate immigration, especially when it comes to national security. There may not be as big an impact as some people would have you believe. Justin Fapiano is a New Haven immigration attorney. Students, uh, permanent residents, green card holders, and asylees, um, green card holders who got their permanent residence after qualifying for asylum are exempt as far as I could tell. However, he says it will be tough on others. It's going to certainly affect some individuals in a, in a very big way. And there's no guarantee that those individuals ever intended any harm to this country. In the dissent opinion, Justice Sonia Sotomayor wrote that the ban was motivated by anti-Muslim animus, citing some of the president's own words and tweets. She wrote that history will not look kindly on the court's decision. However, the White House considers it a big win. Today's Supreme Court ruling uh, just coming out, a tremendous success, a tremendous victory for the American people. U.S. Senator Richard Blumenthal is looking at filing legislation that would reverse this court decision, but it's unlikely to go anywhere in the Republican-controlled Congress. Now, Governor Malloy sent us a statement saying that the ban harkens back to some of the darkest days in the nation's history, adding, the administration will now resume enforcing the president's hateful, discriminatory, and un-American Muslim ban, preventing some of the most vulnerable people in the world from seeking a better life in the United States just because of their religion. Not the end of this story. George Colley, News 8. All right, George, thank you. Tonight, Senator Chris Murphy is calling for his bill to be passed that would block the president's travel ban. His bill would block the funding for the ban. Murphy says in part, quote, this Supreme Court decision essentially gives the White House license to discriminate based on nationality or religion, which stands in direct opposition to what I was taught to love about this country. Senator Richard Blumenthal also responding tonight to that ban. He stood with protesters today in Washington. We are here to bear witness to injustice, intolerance, bigotry that comes from the President of the United States. And today the Supreme Court has given the President's license to ban a religious group from this country. We are also hearing from Congressman Jim Himes. He released a statement that says, in part, quote, we need a fair and just immigration system that keeps our nation safe and secures America's role as a beacon of hope for refugees and oppressed people across the world.